Yo, man, you guys have been awesome about not spoiling anything. I'm having so much fun on this journey. Uh, it's a difficult world that we're living in these days, man. We got humans versus mutants, and it's sticky. So we're going to get into the politics a little bit more. Like, subscribe, and if you're new here, man, definitely go catch up on the journey. And if you guys want to go way back, man, we started reacting to Marvel on this channel, what, about seven months ago? Something like that. It's been a whole dang journey, man. So go check it out, get caught up, buckle your seatbelts, grab some popcorn. Let's go. Let's go. This is just like the first one. Instant deja vu, yeah. right? Just like a first different actors. Are they different? Yeah, they seem different. Bro, I don't know. I gotta go watch the first one. I gotta see what's going Are they different, guys? Let us know. They might be. They probably are. They probably have to be. Like the timeline of that yeah. is like 11 years. That kid ain't. That kid ain't the same. Whoa, who is this dude? We never saw past that in the first movie. Right. Westchester, New York, 1944. So same time, different place. Let's go. Albert Einstein. Mother. I didn't mean to scare you, darling. I was just getting a snack. Dang, she can't bed. even get a snack <laughs> without getting ran up on. What's the matter? Go on, back to bed. I'll make you a hot chocolate. Who are you? My mother has never set foot in this kitchen in her life. Oh, wow. And she certainly never made me a hot chocolate. Oh, wow. Unless you count ordering the maid to do it. Whoa. Whoa, it's that girl. It's a baby mystique. Oh, she's like a little girl. Aww. She's like cuter when she's a little girl. She's, she's scary as an adult. You're not scared of me? I always believed I couldn't be the only one in the world. Aww. The only person who was different. Charles Xavier. Aww, that's baby Charles. Raven. So they were friends. You're hungry. Yeah, she was on that side for Pick once. Whatever you want. We've got lots of food. You what, don't the have side to of steal. childhood. <laughs> In fact, you never have to steal again. Oh my gosh, that was too cute. Ich will meine Mama sehen. Ich bitte dich und etwas ganz einfaches. Eine kleine Münze ist gar nichts in Vergleich zu einem großen Tor. So you just want to the move it? And this is baby Magneto. But can he do it? He's not under distress. Ich kann nicht. Es tut mir leid, Eric. Uh oh. Mama. Oh, that's his mom right there. Oh no. Dang. He's been in one of them camps too. Look. Wir machen das so. They're about to put him under distress. They're gonna torture her. Oh. Oh no. The moon set. Wenn du die Münze nicht bewegst, schieße ich. Wie schaffst du das? Oh. Zwei. Alles ist gut. Come on, kid, do it. Alles ist gut. Drei. Bro, no he shot way. Her. I was really expecting him to be able to move it. This dude just essentially started a war that's gonna last for a long time just now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wunderbar. Oh my God. He's cheering about it. Oh my gosh. This is honestly insane. Oh, is that Kevin Bacon? It is that absolutely way. Kevin oh, Bacon. Gosh. Do you bet that like the Guardians of the Galaxy couldn't steal him like right before that? Kill that guy. Dang, so Eric went through it. Ausgezeichnet, Eric. Wir können deine Gabe also mit Wut hervorbringen. Wut und Schmerz. Oh no, you unlock his gift with anger, pain. Du That's why he grew up to be so twisted, bro. Oh man. Wir werden zusammen viel Spaß haben. Then he gives him the coin. So disrespectful. Then I throw that coin and hit him in the back of the head with it. Boy, I know. Look at it just balancing there. He's gonna learn to practice with that coin, huh? That's how it starts. Wow. That was cool. Coldest opening yet to an X-Men movie, I think. That was crazy. Wow. He's so in tune now. It looks like he's got a gambling problem, don't he? <laughs> <laughs> or he's just definitely doing some undercover work somehow. Geneva, Switzerland, 1962. Oh, he's after this guy. I mean, she just looks like she has jaundice, though. You know what I mean? Because her eyes are yellow? Yeah. 
Mm. Oh, she drinks would too much. Would you date me? Of course I would. And a young man would be lucky to have you. You're stunning. <laughs> He's so Charles. Like this. What? Blue, you're my oldest friend. I'm your only friend. Wow, the <laughs> oldest and the only. Well, I mean, I'm just saying, dude, if you're him, she can look like any girl in the world. Why would you not like her? She can like fit anything, you know what I'm saying? But she's saying, do you like me like this? Well, yeah, I know, but just say yeah. His mutant cousin, Homo sapien, of the less evolved... That's crazy that him and Mystique were so tight. Mm -hmm. Like, I never would have guessed that. It's crazy that Charles is such a, like, such a ladies' man, you know what I'm saying? He's so serious. Right, I'm gonna stop talking, sorry. Oh. Touche pas à cette alarme. Je veux Schmidt. Klaus Schmidt. Où est-il? Nous plions. Ne donne pas l'adresse. Nous sommes pas. Pas ce genre de banque. Oh, his feelings in his mouth. Oh my Le gosh. Un métal, hein? Pas un or. On a peur que quelqu'un veut les vols. Dans la jetty. Ah. Dans la jetty. Ah. ah. Dang, Magneto. Merci. Bro, he definitely needs to schedule a dentist visit, doesn't he? That was crazy. He probably doesn't even know what just happened to him. Another day at the office. Is that Colonel Hendry? The NATO guy? Yes, it is. Do you see that? <laughs> Hello, girls. Wow, very nice. <laughs> what? What are you doing? Using some equipment the CIA didn't give me. Stay put. Who is this person? <laughs> Where did she come from? Colonel Hendry? Yes, ma'am. Emma Frost, Sebastian Shaw's associate. We're having a party. And here's the entertainment. Come with me. Where'd they go? There's like a tunnel in there or something. He was with that angel. So I hear you blocked the proposal to position Jupiter missiles in Turkey. I expect you'll reconsider. We've had this conversation. You put our nukes in Turkey or anywhere that close to Russia, and you're looking at war, nuclear war. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Lucky for her, she didn't end up in that room. I don't ask for favors, Colonel. I express my expectations. So let me say it again. I expect you'll reconsider. The only thing I will reconsider is having another glass of that delicious champagne. What the heck? What in the world? What the it's kind of like Storm. You put right. in my drink. His name is probably like Cyclone. Just that simple. You're thinking of running, hiding. We'd find you, Henry. There's not a fortress in the world that could keep us out. She can, like, yeah, exactly. talk to, to people. Like Charles. Telepathic? Yes. Oh my gosh. Genetic mutation. The evolution of the human genome. Where's Azazel? Azazel? Oh, he's like the devil that Azazel is? Come <laughs> I mean, he might not agree, but... He looks like him. Missiles in Turkey send a very clear message. Whoa, 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 slow down. He's smoking them funny cigarettes. People don't disappear. <laughs> Colonel Hendry was there. He was there, McCone, in the Hellfire Club. Colonel Hendry. I agree with you, General. I've reconsidered my position, and I now believe we should put Jupiter missiles in Turkey. Colonel Hendry is here, so unless he magically traveled 3,000 miles in the last 10 oh. minutes. Listen to me. I suggest that you stop wasting my time. Sir, I... Well, now what? We find an expert on genetic mutation. Professor Charles. Genetics, Charles Francis Xavier. There you go. So, how does it feel to be a professor? Oh, don't call me that. You don't get to be called a professor until you actually have a teaching position. Does she work for, like, the CIA, I guess? Yeah, something like that, right? What a spot. They're going to go get Kevin Bacon? <laughs> Dang, he sees him. He wants him dead, huh? Mm-hmm. Deutsches Bier. Claro. Ja, ist Bitburger. <laughs> and guys, just so you know, man, we're picking up that this is the Cuban Missile Crisis and all that. Was hat sie nach Argentinien verschlagen? Mein Vater die schönsten Anzüge Düsseldorfs gemacht. Meine Eltern kamen aus Düsseldorf. Und wie ist der Name? Und sie hatten keinen Namen. Man, this is about being bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Blut und Ehre. Wir hatten unsere Befehle. Also Blut. 
Oh my gosh. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> That's Cindy. Let's just say I'm Frankenstein's monster. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go, I guess. Is, is that what you call that? <laughs> Dude, like that played out just like he imagined it in his head perfectly. Yeah, perfectly executed. Right. I'm looking for my creator. Oh. Oh, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> if that's not his girlfriend, I'm not even gonna lie, bro. That's a drag. You have to hang out with her all day. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's, it's much harder than it looks, actually. No, on your presentation. I mean, my presentation. How nice of you. Thank you very much. Moira McTaggart. Charles Xavier. Do you have a minute? I really need your help. Moira is a familiar mm -hmm. name because she is the name of the doctor. You're talking on, about in your thesis. When she wrote Charles up on one of the last things. may have already happened in people alive today. Yeah, you're talking to one. Professor? I think we should just talk when you're sober. Do you have any time tomorrow? <laughs> this is very important to me, and if I can help you, I will do my utmost. Thank you. There you go. That's what we like to hear. I was wondering who you told about our little arrangement. No one? Well, I guess we're done here. Let's wrap things up, shall we? Well, I knew better than to trust you. Now you let me walk out of here with my money, or I will pull this pin and we all die. Go ahead. Man, I ain't buying that bluff, bro. I'll do it, I swear to God. No, you won't. But I will. Whoa, Whoa. he caught it. You want to guess what I can do? I've got the power to absorb energy. Keeps me young. That's the boring part. The fun stuff is what I can do with it once I've got it. So he's one of them. That is crazy. That's like the Black Panther suit. It absorbs like molecular with energy. Extraordinary isn't it? abilities may already be or kinetic among energy. us. McTaggart, you really think that some crackpot scientist is going to make me believe in sparkly dames and vanishing men? You just bought yourself a one-way ticket back to the typing pool. This meeting is over. <laughs> My mutation allows me to do is that I can read your mind. I've seen this before in a magic show. <laughs> Are you gonna ask us to think of a number between one and ten now? <laughs> one and uh, ten million. Strapper, although <laughs> I think I'd rather ask you about the Jupiter missiles America are currently placing in Turkey. Oh. <laughs> He's a goddamn spy. You brought a goddamn <laughs> spy into this facility. Whoa. <laughs> They're like mutants. Or do they know? No, nah, they have no idea. This is like the beginning. How's that for a magic trick? <laughs> Best I've ever seen. Okay. I'll take him. Who's he? He looks like an opportunist. CIA have a little more composure. We should be going after Shaw right now, but instead he's up there worrying about the wrong mutants. What are we going to do, Levine? <laughs> Levine? Levine, what's wrong with you? Absolutely nothing. I've just frozen him for a moment because I'd like to talk to you. It's good, <laughs> isn't it? I'm as interested in this Sebastian Shaw as you are, and if you still want my help, meet me on the third floor of the parking garage. He kind of does I've a good job acting like Charles. There people like you out like there. He reminds me of I've been a the laughing stock of this agency for years. I mean, I'll be honest with you, I, I don't You're see it. Love my facility. That's gonna have I to wait. Know. He's got the Why? same power as Charles. Edward has to lead on no, Sebastian the Shaw, and if we don't move now, apparently we're gonna lose him. Why? Not only can he read minds, he can communicate with them as well. Yeah, there you go. Shut him up. The Kleiner Eric Lindsay. He's here to kill you. Obviously. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, he didn't plan on that happening at all, huh? We don't Was she the one with the diamond skin, like in the last one? Now it's a party. This oh, is the U.S. Coast Guard. Coast Guard showed up. Do not attempt to move your vessel. They have a telepath. I've lost sure. There's something blocking me. This has never happened to me before. I think there's someone like me on that ship. I'm very sorry, but I don't think I'm going to be much help to you tonight. You're on your own. Well, that sucks. She's probably got to be a class four or five. Let's be real. He seems stronger than him. He's like Storm, though, for real. He can conjure up with tornadoes. Oh, my gosh. The water Jesus. sprouts now. Oh, oh my gosh. With the inside. Is this Aquaman? In my uniform, I guess. Charles. There's someone else out there. Yeah, can't Magneto just make the ship go yeah. in the water and just sink it? Look, he picked up the anchor. There you go. Time to go. Wow. 
just lassoing that yacht up. Man, my man's clean with it. He's got the escape vehicle. Well, that better be a plastic submarine. Right. No, it's not. You gotta help me. You gotta get someone in the water to help me. Let it go! This man's out there attacking that thing. You're trying to help him? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, look, the world is crazy. He no, they're not friends yet. Yeah. yeah. I know what this means to you, but you're going to die. Please, Eric, calm your mind. So he saved his life. That's right. what sparks that. Get yeah, Magneto up. checked I'm him in that movie. I'm he said, um, he's done more to help me than anyone. He like, put him in his place, you basically. Mm -hmm. How did you do that? You have your tricks, I have mine. I'm like you. Just calm your mind. I thought I was alone. <laughs> you're not alone. Eric, you're not alone. Dang, that's why he was working alone. In all the new, newer movies, he's never working alone. He always has a posse. Right. Welcome to my facility. This guy Shaw, he's working with the Russians. We might need your help to stop them. Marvelous. Oh, cool. Yeah, Shaw's like Warren Van Braun. Ain't that the guy's name? The Nazi scientist yeah. guy? Super you probably don't know him talking about, but. Most advanced plane ever built. Hank, these are the special new recruits I was telling you about. This is Hank McCoy, one of our most talented young researchers. How That's beast. wonderful. Another mutant already here. Why didn't you say? That guy? But he's not beast yet. Because Hank McCoy is beast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hank? You didn't ask, so I didn't tell. So your mutation is what? You're super smart? I like the way you put his show off. <laughs> Whoa. Them brook toes. Oh. <laughs> no. Splendid. <laughs> Ta-da. <laughs> if that telepath gets inside your head, you won't be as much fun as I am. The Russians. Yo, it's the helmet. That looks like Magneto's. A little similar. So I'm right. What am I thinking? It stops the thoughts, right? Yeah, that's why Magneto wears it, so Charles can't I don't know right. anything. Ever since I was a little boy, you have no idea what I'd give to feel normal. normal. Yeah. Hank, the serum that you're making, it doesn't affect abilities, right? Just appearance. Normalizes it. Yeah. By the way, if I looked like you, I wouldn't change a thing. Putting them Russell seeds, bro. <laughs> it works out for him in the end. Don't let him mess your moment up. Hop back in there. He was in the zone, bro. Hank turned that radar installation into a transmitter. It's designed to amplify brain waves so it could enhance your telepathic powers. Help us find other mutants for our division. What if they don't Whoa. want to be found by Like you? Cerebro. Exactly, Look. the baby version. And Hank invented he decided it. decided to stay. He's smart. If a new species is being discovered, it should be by its own kind. Charles and I find the mutants. No suits. I, uh, I call it Cerebro. You... <laughs> is in the Spanish for brain? Yes. It's tiny. Are you sure we can't shave your head? Go touch my hair. <laughs> oh, is that why Charles ends up being like bald? Because Cerebro? Yeah, maybe it helps. He just ain't quite got that range with his hair, you know what I mean? Or that was like a little like nod to him being bald later. The movie's way of making it come full circle. Whoa. He sees so many. This is like their first time. It's working. Also, they're just now discovering that there's so much more like them. And she's the one, apparently. No, that won't be necessary, although I'm sure it'd be magical. We were thinking more. We'll show you ours, if you show us yours. Baby, that is not the way it works around here. <laughs> more tea, Vicar? My turn. Bro, she's like the thing that you used to put on the thing and do like that. And yeah, the on there. sky dancers. Yeah, when you was a kid. Things suck. So she's like Tinkerbell. How would you like a job where you get to keep your clothes on? This is so cool, this concept right here. I love it. We're two fellas. <laughs> what the hell does the government want with a guy like Alex Summers? You like fish, I like fish too. I'd rather go out with the fish. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> she don't mean it, bro. And he's bull boy. These fish? Logan. Excuse me, I'm Eric Lencher. Charles Xavier. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> they just left him alone. He's got his own line of discovery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's got to go do fight club. 
He's such a grumpy <laughs> Logan. <laughs> That was a good cameo, bro. I loved it. Hopefully he comes back. There's nothing on But he's obviously not no. going to. So no. Yo, well, yeah. he did forget his memory. I don't know. Then What's we that? have a problem. Beautiful, isn't it? What a bad guy. The reason we exist. Mm -hmm. They're recruiting. You go on to Russia. I'll handle them. Where's Shaw? I don't know. We're here for Shaw. Mission aborted. The hell it is. She's his right hand woman. That's good enough for me. Eric? Yeah, this is when it gets dicey, man. Russia's These mutants one. are going and doing like global affairs on behalf of the United States government in their eyes. It gets so dicey. You must be busy planning your next move, but with the Americans refusing to remove their missiles from Turkey. You know, I can't talk about those things, Miss Frost. And don't worry, you don't have to say a word. Oh, wow. They're probably so confused. He's going to start World War III single. We have to do something. Like what? Magneto is basically messing with everything here. The Cuban Missile Crisis is trying to start World War III. Well, he's I basically trying to do that more so for his own personal reasons of not liking that guy. Right. Because he, he wants to get Later, he becomes such a war monster, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. And at this time, he's just single-handedly wanting revenge. Mm -hmm. For that guy killing his mom. Right. Oh, he just thinks he's doing it. Because mm -hmm. she's got that, yeah. Pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> nice trick. Stolter, <laughs> gotta sleep. You're never going to get anything from me while I'm like this. Oh, I see. Oh, it says like the helmet kind of right. the day. I thought you'd be a little harder. So than then you can just tell us. Where's Shaw? Oh, he's snapping. Mm -hmm. Eric, that's enough. Oh, whoa, whoa. Did he make him do it? I don't know. Oh, yes. No. Oh, wow. Oh. What the heck? <laughs> the apocalypse is upon us. Radiation gave birth to mutants. What will kill the humans will only make us stronger. So it was radiation. It was bombs. Beautiful, isn't it? What was that? What is that? That is so scary, bro. <laughs> What's that guy's name? Is that his name? Something like that. <laughs> Whoa, we killed him? Just like that? Dang. Oh, we have an it. intruder on the main atrium. Where are the mutants? You take another step, I'm gonna put you down. Of course he will. <laughs> Get back! Do not leave that room! We're under attack! Yeah! Did it destroy that? Where are the mutants? Put that man down or we will open fire! Uh-oh, don't do that, because he's just gonna, like... Explode. Overpower the... <gasps> Y'all are wildin'. Stay here, my ass! Let's go! Did he just stab him with his tail? Insane. Who knew Kevin Bacon could do that? Oh my god. That's crazy. He literally looks just like the devil, doesn't he? Yeah. I can't believe Mystique's acting like that. Man, what a sellout. My name is Sebastian Shaw, and I am not here to hurt you. Each of us will face a choice. Choose freely, but know that if you are not with us, then by definition, you are against us. He's like Ma so, Magneto before he was Magneto. You can stay, or you can join me and live like kings and queens. There's one. Come on, we don't belong here. We have to do something. She was just having such a good time. <laughs> I don't know. Stop. I'm coming with you. Alex, get out! Do it! Okay, that was smart. Kind of. Protecting your fellow mutants? He looked like Dr. Dream. gesture. Adapt to this. Man, that sucks. They tried. Oh my gosh.
Dang. Moscow, Russia is so scary, bro. It was suck to be there. I'm just dying to know what happens between these two. We're not going home. What? He's not going back to prison. Darwin's dead, Charles. And we can't even bury him. We can avenge him. Vengeance, of course. Yeah, what, please? <laughs> They're just kids. No, they were kids. Shaw has his army. We need ours. We'll have to train. All of us. We've got nowhere to go. Yes, we do. Oh, yeah, no. right. The Russians have sent their warheads to Cuba. If that ship crosses the line, they will have declared war against the United States. We will have no choice but to retaliate with a full nuclear response. Jeez. Do we agree? Man. Dispatch the Seventh Fleet. That's gonna be the school. Yeah, that's the school right there. That's sick. Honestly, Charles. The origin story. I don't know how you survived living in such hardship. So they're like close, close. That's crazy. I, I didn't know. See that. Everyone's personalities are so different in the original ones. The Soviet Union reacted by terming it a step along the road to unleashing a thermonuclear war. You're sure? I'm sure. This is them training? <laughs> Let's try something a little more challenging. Triangle bushes. You know, when I do this, bad things tend to happen. It's because you can't control it. It controls you. That's why we're here, Alex. That's why we're training. <laughs> <laughs> this it's like any other muscle in the body you can control it oh my god <laughs> Dang, oh. Going off in I there. will teach you to control this Alex well, you're sure that this will work now remember scream as hard as you can you need like the a sound bat. waves to be supersonic catch them no at the way. right angle and they should carry you they should carry me Oh, so he can use his voice to do all kinds of things. And don't forget to scream. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. If you want to beat me this saying. time, you have to set the beast free. Go! Yeah, you can't lose to Professor X. So oh. you're saying you'd be better off if your feet were shaped like hands. <laughs> <laughs> he lapped him. Oh, uh, congratulations, my friend. It's impressive, Hank. Eh? Feet like those, all you need is a red nose. Right, Bozo? I'm done here. Thank you, Alex. Come on, Hank. If you're using half your concentration to look normal, then you're only half paying attention to whatever else you're doing. So that's why she falls under his, like, you know what I'm saying, his stuff, because... But you can't even accept yourself. Yeah, see, he's planting those, those cult leader vibes. You know what I'm trying to say? You truly believe I'll fly this time unreservedly? Oh my! I trust you. I'm touched. I want to die. So okay, let me help. Oh. <laughs> Eric! <laughs> so his power is he's a screamer. He's a bat. That's crazy. So I want you to hit the X and try not to hit me. That's a good chap. You're serious? I have complete and utter faith in you. Why? <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, lucky. Just took a little trust. See that? Try turning it to face us. No way. <laughs> you know, I believe that true focus lies somewhere between rage and serenity. Would you mind if I... <laughs> I really like that they were friends. Yeah, except Charles is sitting here feeding the monster, though. What did you just do to me? I accessed the brightest corner of your memory system. It's a little intimate, bro. It's a very beautiful memory, Eric. Thank you. Thank I didn't you. know I still had that. There's so much more to you than you know. Not just pain and anger. It's good, too. I felt it. When you can access all that, you'll possess a power no one can match. Not even me. Hmm. So come on. 
Try again. But he's only angry and bitter throughout the whole thing. He's never quite happy, so maybe we've never seen him full strength. Aww. He's had to think about his mom. <laughs> hey! Well done. The president's about to make his address. It shall be the policy of this nation to regard any nuclear missile crossing the embargo line that surrounds Cuba as an attack by the Soviet Union on the United States, requiring a full retaliatory response upon the Soviet That's Union. That's where we're going to find Shaw. How do you know? Two superpowers facing off, and he wants to start World War III. Ultimately leads to war. Tensions mount as so the, the Soviet missile ship Loki. nears Cuba. Yeah. All diplomatic efforts to avert nuclear war have thus far failed. In all its history, America has never faced a greater threat. The world is primed for war, and there's no one to stop me. <laughs> She's with that all of a sudden. All of a sudden. That'd be so scary Man. to live through. I wonder what it was like. Hey. We're kind of living in something similar, in a way. Hank, don't. You're beautiful, Hank. My feet in your natural blue form will never be deemed beautiful. You look beautiful now. We need this cure. Dang. But I mean, even she's insecure about it, though. Or else she would be blue all the time, which in later movies she will, you know, later in the timeline she does. After tomorrow, they're going to turn on us. But you're blind, Ted, because you believe they're all like Moira. And you believe they're all like Shaw. Listen to me very carefully, my friend. Killing Shaw will not bring you peace. Peace was never an option. Well, here we go. This is where they start to part ways, it seems. He's doing it. To be honest, having weird feet ain't that bad. Just don't go to the beach. Don't wear open toe shoes. Oh, right on the source. Mm. Oh, wow. That didn't hurt. Oh, he's happy. No. Oh. He didn't let that stuff go through like clinical trials or anything. Oh, no. There you go. Turn him blue. Oh, here's his origin story of that. <laughs> Dang, wow. so now he's always going to be a beast, right? This is a surprise. Get out, Raven. I want to go to bed. How about now? I prefer the real Raven. I said the real Raven. Ooh, this is where she, her origin story with him comes from. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I was kind of getting that vibe, not even going to lie. Perfection. Mutant and proud. You don't have to hide. You're an exquisite creature, Raven. Aw, now Hank's like, I'm blue too. We could be together. Too late, bro. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> they destroyed it. I think it was just Hank. What the hell yeah, happened here? Mm -hmm. Do we really have to wear these? Here's the first class part. They hopping on a jet. That's like the cartoons, isn't it? Their little uniforms. Yeah, I was about to say, it kind of looks like the Wolverine cartoons, isn't it? Like the little Spanish thing he wears. I just know it's like yellow, I think. I'm here. Like when you show it with a new haircut, <laughs> you know. It didn't attack the cells. It enhanced them. It didn't work. Yes, it did, Hank. This is who you were meant to be. Oh, I'm not even gonna lie, dude. He just didn't seem like a corny white guy in the first one. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? I mean, let's Don't just real here. mock me. I wasn't. <laughs> I think I got a new name for you. Beast. He likes it. Yeah. I'm sure you can fly this thing. I designed it. Status of the cargo ship. Three minutes to the embargo line, sir. God help them if they cross it. I was hoping that would have been God seen. God help us all. All hands man battle stations. Yeah, Set the condition the zebra. General orders, battle station. Target cargo ship, bearing one, eight, zero. Корабль не поворачивает. Аранское море, вам приказано лечь на обратный курс. Не пересекать линию. Yeah, why is it not turning around? Someone's controlling it. Stand by to fire. Stand by to fire. It's either them or someone's controlling like the pilot or something. Or not the pilot. What do you call the sailor? Captain? Yeah, there you go. 
looks pretty messy out there. There you go. The crew of the RLC are all dead. Shaw's been there. If that ship crosses the line, our boys are gonna blow it up. There you and go. The war World begins. War Unless they're not our oh, boys. We have lost control of our cargo ship. She's been instructed <laughs> to stop. Do not fire. Repeat. Do not he fire. They signaled the cargo ship to turn around. <laughs> yeah. Pay no attention. Stand by to fire. Standing by to fire, sir. On my count. Five, four. So that? they destroyed their own ship. The Russians. They have fired on their the own ship. A little warning next time, Professor. Sorry about that. You're He's right. He's a professor. Very true. Thank you, Tovarish Zampolit. You only have to go to the war and go to the war. What? You can't do it! They say the comrade lost his mind. The Americans are applauding. They're here. That telepath is powerful. We're moving to a backup plan. No, telepath. No, we're spoiling your plans, Kevin Bacon. That was inspired, Charles. Thank you very much, but I still can't locate Shaw. He's down there. We need to find him now. Well, then he must be underwater. And obviously, we don't have sonar. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. He is the sonar. Yeah, that's what I was saying about the X-Men. Yeah, you got one for every single like, gathering you need. Match mm -hmm. You like need defeat. sonar, you got sonar, man. And we still have the most powerful weapon of all. Me. Turn the nuclear reactor to 100% output and make sure I'm not disturbed. Bloody fight! Man, this is the big leagues, kid. Go ahead. Remember! This is a muscle! You control it! Go! Whoa. Olympic level diver, too. Can't dolphins do that, too? <laughs> yeah, they can. <laughs> I don't she's got a location on shore. <laughs> You've been playing too much Echo as a kid. You ready for this? Dolphin game on second. Let's find know. out. <laughs> oh my gosh, on a kaleidoscope mirror room. Right. Oh, he's just harvesting so much energy. <laughs> he's got to be too dangerous. Yeah, he's going to be the ultimate missile crisis. Whoa. Remember. The point between rage and it's serenity. No shot. He's about to get it out the water. He's about to beat that thing with a well. Let's go. Let's go. I mean, like, I'm saying let's go as if I don't hate Magneto, but... I love to hate Magneto, you know? He's a cool villain. He really he is. is. He's, like, one of the coolest villains I know. And when he's conducting his little metal, his little metal instrumental, whatever he's got going on, he's a lot cooler than he's the other. Oh, Ian McBone? Yeah. He does a better job doing this. That's insane. No, Magneto's he's cool as the bridge, though. Right, but he's always doing cool stuff like that. Like, yeah. what in the world? Give this man a top 10. Well, it turns out when we build really big structures, we tend to make them out of metal. Right. We should name him Twister Tim. That was a courtesy laugh. Twister Tim. They really did beat you like a whale, too, didn't they? Oh, wow. That's crazy. You just saved him. Yeah, because he could, like, hold still on the metal. That was insane. He's done that a lot throughout the series, though. Like, use it to, like, levitate himself. He always does it in a different way, too. I read the teleporter's mind. Sean's drawing all the power out of his shop. He's turning himself into some kind of nuclear bomb. I'm going in. Beast, Havoc, back him up. Eric, I can guide you through once you're in, but I need you to shut down whatever it is that's blocking me. And then we just hope to God it's not too late for me to stop him. Got it. Good luck! They also don't know about them, so they're gonna sit there and like play it that close as means. You go. Eric, back to the middle of the vessel. You so funny. <laughs> that's the point my mind can't penetrate. We have to assume that that's where Shaw is. Oh my gosh, well he still has a lot of energy. Yes, so much. 
And I'm telling you he's not. There's no one here, goddammit. Eric. So good to see you again. Eric, he is very powerful right now. This is the part in the movie where the hero starts to fall a little bit. Yeah, Just to gain ultimate I'm... redemption. Right. Why are you on their side? He's gone. What? He's gone into the void. I can't communicate with no him speech. there. Why fight for a doomed race who will hunt us down as soon as they realize their reign is coming to an end? How are we going to do this, Magneto? Good teamwork. That's super effective. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for what happened. I think the they camps. landed though on the beach. He's back! Eric, what are you doing? Keep doing it. It's starting to work. Oh yeah, thank you. It's time, working. Right? I'm starting to see him, but I can't yet touch his mind. Yeah, he's a little reference man. Ah! Wings. I'm so proud of you. And you're just starting to scratch the surface. Think how much further we could go together. Together? I know I'm like way off topic, but he's obviously gonna take the helmet from him, right? And wear it as like a trophy. Yeah. It's kind of hard. I didn't realize it was so tough when he was wearing it. I thought it was just so Charles couldn't get in there. I didn't realize it was like. Stop! Where's Hazel? Oh, that was smart. <laughs> that had me so confused. Me too. I, I was like, uh... I never did. I want to help you. We are the future of the human race. You and me, son. Son. This world could be ours. You probably didn't literally mean Everything that. Everything you did yeah, little <laughs> made me stronger. <laughs> You're so literal. <laughs> made me the weapon I am today. You are my creator. No, Charles! Snagsies. <laughs> you better take it. Sorry, Charles. Eric, please. Sorry, you Charles. You have it. I don't trust you. Eric, there will be no turning back. <laughs> oh, Charles, don't do this, Eric. Oh, you are screwed. He had to shut out the good voice in his head. Yeah. If you're in there, I'd like you to know that I agree with every word you said. We are the future, but you better stop talking, bro. Unfortunately, you just heard him. You can't you control my mother. That coin. This is what we're going to do. No. Please, Eric, no. I'm going to count to three. And I'm going to move the coin. Please, Eric. What are you going to do? You're going to let him die or you're going to let him go? Is he going to flip it to decide? No, I'm saying he, he's got a choice to make right now. Let him die or let him go. He lets him go. But he's basically holding him there. He's holding him there to get killed. Yeah, basically. Three. Stopped him in time, he also stopped his power. Wow. The same coin. I'd have put it through the twice. The Russians share our concerns and will join a strike on all the mutants. We can end this threat for good. We have an agent on that beach. She's collateral damage. It's confusing when they have different actors, though, for a striker, I guess. Yeah. Because we've seen about Today three our fight at this stops. Point. I'm just trying not to mention it. I'm just keeping it rolling. <laughs> you guys already told us to just ignore that part. Wow. Mm, body thuds. There he goes. The real enemy is out there. Go ahead, Charles. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> he can't. He ain't won, but... The beach is secure. Call off the attack. The beach is targeted and ready to be fired upon, sir. Oh my uh, gosh, it's so opposite. <laughs> right. Wow, so they're yeah, going together to destroy you him. You see how that war machine, Hello? though? That war machine works together. As soon as the orders come down, they all just get on the same page. Quick. Fire. I'm going. Wow. Let's go, Manny, though. So little did we know that Cuban Missile Crisis was in front of attack the mutants. You can't believe nothing you're telling these schools. No, these schools are fake. Dang, we should give him a purple heart. Is he sending him back? Oh, 
So he's making there brash are decisions that are going to affect on those everyone. Good, honest, right. They sent out to space and let the aliens and what? Just kidding. Don't do that. Eric, release them! Nice tackle. Oh, let's go. They explode over the water. Isn't all that radiation just going to make more mutants? Is that a different kind of radiation? Those are missiles, not like nuclear bombs. Yeah, I don't really like drop bombs very often, so. Gentlemen, it's been an honor surfing with you. The idea was that the Cuban Missile Crisis was going to lead to a nuclear war. So these are just missiles. But, I mean, they're not identical. Oh, it hit him in the spine. No way. That's how he gets paralyzed. No oh. way. Bro, because of Magneto. No wonder y'all don't like each other. But Magneto actually feels, feels bad. Oh, dude, that's a no take backer. You would think there'd be a mutant that could like, heal that. You know what I'm saying? Right. It would be Logan through Rogue. I'm so sorry. I'm training yeah, exercise I said today. Back off. <laughs> you, know. you did this. Not really. You did. She didn't do this, Zach. You did. You're right, with the backhand. I want you by my side. We're brothers, you and I. All of us together, protecting each other. So that's why he visited him in jail. We want the same thing. Because they're Loki brothers. Oh, my friend. I'm sorry. But we do not. I'm so sorry. So sorry. The humans have played their hand. Now we get ready to play ours. Who's with me? <laughs> obviously them. Right. Oh, redhead. Oh, there. and obviously Masik joins at some point. No more hiding. Dang, you were Charles Foster's sister, basically. There we go. So I'm still confused then. What happened? <laughs> you should go with him. It's what you want. Take care of him. Oh, so she does go. I don't know, man. I just said something else to her other than that. And beast, never forget. Mutant and proud. Oh, he was just a little beast cub then. And he turns into like a whole like mutant war. Like a, he's like a charge of mutants. Wait, don't trust Charles. Politically. Don't right. He becomes oh, a statesman. I can't feel my legs. Oh. I can't feel my legs. Man, that sucks. So how many students do you think you'll have here once you get the academy up and running? Let's go. Oh. As many as I can manage, possibly more. He said, my Mac days are over. Yeah. Gotta get focused. You're your own team now. It's better. You're X-Men. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, bro. That seems it's unelected to me. Or uh, for us, anonymity will be the first line of defense. I'll never tell them where you are. Brenda. Aww. What happens to her? She wakes him up and I remember the I'll attack on HQ, leaving to go somewhere else. And then this morning, I woke up at home. All that she time doesn't remember. clean from your mind. Just gone. He can do that. You don't remember anything. Sometimes I get fragments, trees, a kiss. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Gentlemen, this is why the CIA is no place for a woman. <laughs> Yikes. What the hell was that? Oh. I thought all you had to do is go pink and she's out. I know we've had our differences. Nah, she can let her guard down. She's amongst friends. Where's your telepath friend? Gone. I was rather hoping you would fill it. Oh, he needs another telepath. Join us. She's like, well, obviously I should. Eric, I believe. I prefer Magneto. Let's go. All right, guys, that was X-Men First Class. That was a really fun movie. It was really crazy going back and seeing the origin of some of these characters. Um, I'll be honest with you guys, man. This sort of threw off my perception of this movie. These characters and their, I guess their adolescent days, if, if you could put it that way, man, they were a lot different than mm -hmm. the way that they're perceived now. And I'm kind of blown away by that. It kind of threw me off a little bit, even though I, I, I think the movie was really, really good. I actually really enjoyed the film, but dude, I'll admit I'm really thrown off, especially by how like free spirited, like everyone was, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Well, everyone was young once. Yeah, it was fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it was different. Yeah, so I really enjoyed this. I thought the coolest scene to me was the same coin that um, Magneto's obviously got Magneto's mm -hmm. mom killed was the same coin that he killed um, Sebastian and Shaw with. That was incredible. Right. I really enjoyed that because Magneto always has a way with 
finding these like amazing scenes. Yeah, like, he does. Like doing just does. something incredible with his power. The show finds a way to express how cool Magneto can be 100%. They put that on film in a very, very, just like a really cool way, right? Like some of bad, his scenes are just- bad beep. Yeah, exactly. You guys know what we're saying. So some of the best villain moments we've seen on this channel 100% mm -hmm. are owned by Magneto. He's gonna have a heck of a mixtape when mm -hmm. it's all said and done, I'm sure. He is a huge compilation. Um, When it comes to the politics of the show, man, I'm not really gonna get into it because we've done that a lot. And this was like a prequel, right? So the timeline has progressed and we sort of went backwards a little bit. So we'll evolve more on that as the series right. goes along. But to be honest, this was definitely just a sequel. We learned so much just about X-Men and about right. like what makes the characters who they are. Just was, like ultimately the origin of them because no one right, knew mutants right. existed then. Yeah. And it was cool to see Charles and Magneto actually being friends. I, I really like the movie, man. I really like how they took the Cuban Missile Crisis and mm -hmm. they, they basically use that as like just a way to show how you guys know what they did, man. They took the mutants and they put them in this, this Cuban Missile Crisis and they showed how like some mutants would want good and they would want to avoid it and they would fight really hard right. and there was like a, a direct conflict and then other mutants were going to exploit it and it just really goes to like it just sets up how the show continues to go down the road right so, it's it's um, really interesting in that way is it safe to say that this was my favorite x-men movie probably i think that one was absolutely my favorite one that like, one was I, really good right because I, I, I don't really like count it as in the trilogy you know right now nah, it yeah. feels like a different era to me right and so far in this new era this is hands down my absolute favorite yeah it didn't really feel like an x-men movie to me but you know that's because we're missing the main characters which to me are like the biggest faces of the series which is logan obviously storm scott a uh, magneto and professor Gene, x yeah it's just really hard not having those characters in this movie but at the same time man seeing wolverine in it was really cool it was nice to right bring that around. and it was cool also because i think i think in I know you guys said erase uh, Wolverine Origins, but I think we did get to see Emma Frost a little bit in it, but she was just escaping the jail or something like right. that. I think I do remember her, that being her, but it was cool to see that she's actually a telepath and she's actually like very, very, very like, um, she's obviously like a high class. Right, right. absolutely. It, that wasn't a thing, of course, in this movie. That was way before, so. Yeah. Basically, man, the moral of the story to me is Magneto just doesn't really seem worthy of all the help that Professor X gave to him. And Magneto's just a character born out of vengeance. I mean, obviously, like every character, man, like he has right. his bad beginning. Everyone has to go through it. You know, some some situations are worse, but ultimately, man, that was that was during boyhood. And he had so many choices in his life right. to go down a different path. And it seemed like every time an opportunity presented itself, he just chose to like take the most vengeful route possible so and in in the opposite way it it shows us how good of a person charles is because charles gets actually like paralyzed by magneto and who's the first person and maybe only person to be visiting magneto in jail right charles because this is dear old friend well and another thing is like charles's ability speaks a lot to his character so you know charles could have the ability to like you know control metal for mm -hmm. like a small example but he doesn't he has the ability to get inside of your mind, manipulate you. You know, he could he can manipulate himself all the way to the White House. Mm -hmm. Hypothetically, he could take you, he could take your money from you, he could take your self-worth from you, he could right. manipulate you, he could enslave you, he could do so many things to you. But he and uses it for good. He just doesn't, and that just speaks to the moral, moral character. And it sucks seeing his origin because you want to root for him even more now, because now that I've seen him paralyzed, I really want to see him go on to do great things, but where we're at currently in the universe is he's passed away at this point. Right. But okay. So going on with that, when we did see him pass away, remember in that scene, we had to go look up on YouTube. There was a lady named Mora. And That's she right. She did. Didn't she? she woke up and she was like, Charles. And That's crazy. That yeah. Is crazy. So totally that, forgot about that. Yeah. So I think she is that, that Moira and maybe they like end up getting married in some life or at some point, I don't know, it seemed like they knew each other pretty well, and she was the only person that knew where he was. So if you're watching this video, man, you probably know all the answers to these questions. We do not. We have never seen these movies. We're actually on like a whole new Marvel kick, if you guys missed <laughs> yeah. that in the beginning. So we've been at it for like seven months. We started with Iron Man, and here we are. So if you guys are enjoying that, man, just like subscribe. It turns out only like a couple hundred of you guys have your notifications turned on, which is nuts, right? We got like 30,000 of you guys who've hit the subscribe button within like the last six months, right? Very recently. 
Only like 200 of you guys have the notification on. And that's silly because we don't know when we're going to drop. We're just going to be honest. We're just trying to put out content. Yeah, that's strange. You should definitely do that. It does help a wee little channel like ourselves. And all those little things you do like that, man. Like some people ask all the time, yo, what can we do to help support the content? Love the videos. Um, dude, you don't got to go to Patreon. You don't have to pay money. You don't have to do any of that. If you just like, subscribe, turn on notifications, those things are free. And leave comments all the time. Yeah, all those little things help a lot, man. They really do. So we appreciate you guys. We do our best to respond. It's been the Octobers. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. And we'll be back with more X-Men. Let's go.